Namaste. You're here with the Birmingham Yoga Teacher Training Crew, and we're actually learning to prepare kitchidi or mung beans and rice. Um, Jin and Clay have been really gracious to let us use their, their abode here. Um, so what we're starting with is actually cutting the vegetables. And the first main ingredients we're going to saute is going to be uh, onions, which we have here. And we'll actually put them in with some ghee, or you can use coconut oil. And we'll first start with mustard seeds, coconut oil mustard seeds, which we'll show you when we do it. And then we'll add the, once they begin to pop, we'll add the onions. We'll saute the onions, we'll add a little ginger, we'll saute the ginger, we'll add a little bit of garlic, and then our spices, which will be primarily, which will be cumin, coriander, fennel, um, turmeric, and some salt, and maybe some black pepper. If there's any other spices, it's winter time, so we can add bay, if you have that, or even a little cayenne. Summertime, it would be uh, no cayenne and no bay, probably, bay leaves. So we'll be back in just a minute. Thank you. You guys, what kind of questions? Okay, so one of the questions comes up, we're, we're cooking with beans and rice. We're actually going to do rice and quinoa mixture. Um, if you have an issue with rice, you can just do quinoa. If you do find that you get a little bubbly with the stomach when it comes to adding beans or mung beans to your diet, you might want to soak them first, like the night before, and they'll sprout. We actually purchased uh, sprouted mung beans, so they're already in that form, and that helps cooking them down longer periods of time will, you know, obviously help that retention and not make it so bubbly inside your tummy. Okay. So we'll be back in just a minute. Thanks. So what would be the difference between using brown rice and white rice? Um, yeah, so the, so the brown rice is a more heating rice. Um, it wouldn't be something you would use during the summer because it's, it's it kind of increases the pitta. It also can dehydrate the body, so you want to make sure you soak uh, the, the brown rice you know, overnight, and that would help actually with the absorption. You don't have as much water being taken from you. If you're looking to digest more easily, probably the lighter basmati white rice would be easier. Um, I actually, we're going to be mixing quinoa with it. I like to use quinoa and a little bit of rice mixture myself. So, organic coconut oil, and we'll put in some here. This is a big batch of people. There's probably 15 of us that are eating. We may add more oil as we go. Uh, turn it on a low heat. But I'm feeling more and more called to get back into it. My son, my son, like my have a two-year-old. And, so, like, and then we're going to wait till the oil gets down to a simmer and just starts to bubble a little bit, and we'll put mustard seeds in there. Um, these are our mustard seeds. They're really helpful in the digestion, helping with the beans. And this will be our first ingredient. Once the oil begins to um, saute the mustard seeds, they'll pop. And once they pop, that's when we'll throw the onions in. So it's a cool little process. Yeah. <laughs> One trick I've learned, if somebody has trouble digesting potatoes, if you cut them and soak them in a bowl of cold water in the fridge for about an hour, it takes out whatever um, aggravates their digestive system. So, cool. so we're cooking for like about 16 people, a little bit over, maybe 18. And um, so we'll put maybe 20 to 50 little mustard seeds in here. And they really help with the digestion. And in a few minutes, depending on how hot the simmering. If you just have this on a little simmer, it should just pop in a few minutes, or even less than a minute. So the mustard seeds have begun to pop, so now we'll add the onions. And then we'll stir them around, and we'll wait till they get a nice little golden color. And we'll add the ginger after that. Add the ginger now, it takes a little longer to heat. Uh, first the onions and then the ginger. They, they can go in at the same time if you wanted to. And we'll wait for the, uh, we'll wait for the garlic. But we'll wait until this uh, onions and ginger get a little more brown color. So a separate step that can be done rather than adding the rice directly to the bowl is to saute saute the rice after it's been rinsed in, um, in the ghee. Now that the 
ginger and the onions have softened and gotten a little brown, we're going to add the garlic and the spices. So the garlic, otherwise you put the garlic in with the ginger and the onions and a burn. So we put the, put the garlic in now. We've got a little bit more over here. And we're going to add the spices, which is a mixture of cumin. It's basically a little masala. We made it ourselves. You can buy a masala. It's got turmeric, cumin, coriander, fennel, some salt. Um, we might add a little cayenne to it, separately because I didn't see any here. So that's our, our curry mix now on masala. So when the recipe calls for the grand masala, um, you don't you can make your own. You don't have to go look for something that says that. Yeah, if you look at the ingredients on, on a gutta masala, it'll have um, you know, cumin, coriander, turmeric, salt. There might be a, a, a cayenne pepper in there, and there might be fenugreek or something like that, or thyme. Mm -hmm. uh, not really thyme, but bay leaves. So what we've done is we, you know, I'm traditionally more pinta, so I typically make my own. So I'll put uh, more coriander, then, then, they, then it would be cumin. So I have more coriander powder than cumin. I like to put fennel seeds. You could also use cumin seeds. They're fun and nice to cook with. Um, but yeah, so that's how I make my masala rather than buying it pre-made. Here's a sales pitch for uh, a company I love. It's called Banyan Botanicals. Um, they're people who worked with Dr. Ladd, Vasant Ladd, who was a teacher of mine. They sell most, I think, all organic spices, which is amazing, and it's a great place to get your products. That's where I buy all my spices. The band in the can. So I, I can trust where they're coming from, and their coconut oil. Cool. Turn this down a little bit. It's starting to get a little hot. And now we're going to add uh, the beans. For time's sake, we went with the sprouted black beans right now. I usually take my own beans and, and I sprout them myself. If you're having dietary restrictions or you're having issues digesting, you would add split mung beans, um, which you would without the shells. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and do one full bag. And then we're going to add some water to this right now. There's no real rhyme or reason of how much water I'm going to put in the mung beans. I'm just going to get it so they don't burn for right now. now I'm going to stir it and I'll have to add water as we go through it. With the rice, obviously, for every cup you'll put two cups of water. So we've got two cups of rice in here, we're going to put four cups of water. The bay leaves could have gone in earlier with the spices, we're putting them in now. They'll still be great. Putting in the potatoes now, some sweet potatoes, just because they take a little longer to cook. So what we've got here is a finished bowl of pot of kitchen. Um, we've got the quinoa here, the rice here. We sauteed up the broccoli and we some oil. Um, this will, you know, keep for three or four days. A lot of people, um, I, I like coconut aminos in here. Uh, you can also add a little salt to it. Some people put uh, nutritional yeast on there for a little extra protein. And um, if you're not vegan, you want cheese or cottage cheese, and some rotis or tortillas, it's really good with that, a salad. So bon appetit. Thank you guys for joining us at Birmingham Yoga.